Crashing. How are you guys doing this fine, slightly early day for recording? We're like in the past a little further, guys. Mm-hmm. But not, doing yeah. but not for our listeners. Exactly. exactly. It's so confusing. Full disclosure. Nope. That's also true. We're recording on a different day. Yes. But you're hearing this on the same It's day. very confusing. It's confusing until you hear that it's just one day earlier than we usually record. <laughs> <laughs> and... We still know nothing more than yes, we would have if we true. recorded tomorrow. Correct. So it, it affects nothing because the new game update is coming out. When you are probably listening to this listener, you may have access to the new game right now as you're listening. And we are so envious of you in the future as we are in the past and still denied the knowledge of the actual thing. Also, we, if you're not playing the game right now, maybe you're at random stores trying to pick up Amiibo <gasps> packs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, I forgot about that. That's another thing. That's another know. thing I might be doing. I have the day off on Friday. <gasps> oh my god. And I was planning to, you know, do things that are productive. Mm-hmm. Like, I have like my like car, I have to do my emissions test and things oh, like that. Fun. Really exciting stuff. Yee. And like things for my sister in law's wedding. But instead, <sighs> I might be driving to Target, Walmart, to Best Buy, just wow. seeing what I can find. Game so stuff. they're released Hot on Friday? Theoretically, like they will open their boxes on Friday morning and put them on shelves on Friday morning. Oh my goodness. Amiibo Series yeah. 5 so, coming at you. I don't know what kind of run we're going to have in, in our neighborhood, but I'm going to hit up a few stores first thing in the morning. And, and you know to home. get as many as you can, right? I do know that. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do know. Please. I will happily reimburse you. I do yeah, know that money here. is no object amongst the three of us. <laughs> plus, just throw plus. it all. Okay, throw just want to make sure. Just want to make sure you're thinking of your your, your co-host. I, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will go in with a basket. <laughs> Yay! And I will leave with a basket. <laughs> Yay. She's gonna supermarket sque- sweep it. <gasps> it'll yes. it'll be a full whoosh moment. <laughs> For those not seeing me in person, my hand moved across yes. a fake table. Mine too. It was a full whoosh. That's and Lisa's true. Did too. Mm-hmm. I, I can confirm they both did the supermarket we did the sweep whoosh. arm whoosh. But obviously, if you guys at home want to send me tips, if you hear anything <gasps> about local hot stores, tips. hot tips, yeah, for sure. Want to send me on my way? Send me on my way. On my mm-hmm. way. Send me on my way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 like do, literally do, Nick's gonna do, wake up in the morning and go where are you going and I'm like home shop. may sail I'm going <laughs> shopping I'll tell you to run on do, the way do, 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 do. I'm just mean when you're all I saw you. them at Bonnaroo oh, a million what? years ago they were great I saw them the fall of 2001 at college so good they're I've such happy little before. happies on the radio they are very happy <laughs> little, little rusted root happy little jam band yeah. yeah, they are a jam band. They are very yeah, much I feel they like can jam forever. They could. They they could take that song we were just singing and turn it into a 25 minute song. It's true. And you would have lost your mind halfway through and went, wait, is this still <laughs> the same song? That's how I feel about jam bands. <laughs> wait a second, isn't Dave Matthews band? Sure is. Band? Okay, sure is. <laughs> sure is. I've changed, I've changed my tune a little bit about jam bands over the years. Oh, you've changed your tune about jam bands. I sure bands. have. I, I sure get it. Sweet. I see sure what you have. did there. Did there. <laughs> it's funny, I never really liked the jam part of Dave Matthews band stuff. You I just like the band part. I liked, I liked his album. <laughs> Uh-huh. And the concerts made me a little bit crazy. Oh, oh like just oh. land the plane already! Come on, <laughs> like I get it, I get it. You're really good at that instrument you're playing. You're, 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 you know, you're fantastic. <laughs> do that for twenty five more minutes. You liked hearing do the that. songs as they were they were on the the album. I like to hear and them. You as, wanted as, it to finish as, as, the, the, as the producer, finished. as the producer decided they should be finished. <laughs> I mean, it's a good length. They made that yeah. choice for a reason. They decided that song should be four minutes or three and a half minutes or a tight two and a half even. <laughs> and uh, that's that's where they should land. Oh. <sighs> that's so funny. I love it. Did you have lawn seats, Joelle? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the budget and the venue. Because <laughs> I feel like lawn seats, I was less irritated by jam banding Because <laughs> I could just like hang out and like just do other stuff mm. whereas like if i'm in a seated yeah. location it's like, I'm yeah, like yeah. time's a ticking time's yeah. a wasted there's other songs you could be playing right now but you're, you're absolutely right like when we went to like giant stadium all those times and we were like sitting there and i was like okay okay mm. just get through it just get through it. okay all along the rock tower it's a great song could it go on for seven more minutes i'm sure it can um but then yeah when you're at like you know one of the big fields you know yeah. lawn wow. seats and you know people yeah, are people yeah. are just completely stoned all around you and like 
like who even knows what's happening anymore because you're getting a secondhand high. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's different. It's a different experience. I feel it is. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Makes sorry, it derailed this whole, whole. No, that what was were right we on talking about jam right on band, jam band, jam root. <laughs> it was right on top of her pocket pot. I don't know what you guys are talking we're about. We're talking about from, amiibos and from the movie Ice Age. And you're sending me on my way. <laughs> to pick up Amiibos. As, as everyone is familiar with from Ice Age. Right? It's also in the new Netflix limited series Made. If you oh. guys have watched that. Oh, that's right. That's it's a right. lovely, it's a, it's a great Oh, it's a really good show. Series. I only yeah. cried seven times. Oh. oh. Seven but it's good. Times only. It's, it was I a good it. cry. You know, the girl in it was actually Annie McDowell's daughter. The actual really? Main, the, the main actress. <gasps> and so Annie McDowell played her mother and I was like, oh my wow. second. Wow. I was, I was, I was like, wow, they look very, I did recognize. What great like, casting. Like, great casting. Great <laughs> oh casting. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Actually her daughter. That yeah. makes sense. Huh. Wow. Huh. That's so cool. I like it when they can do that in, yeah. in a film and or And Annie show. McDowell was great. Oh my gosh. Like she was a great annoying mother. She, she's probably the figure. best acting she's ever done in her whole career. Annie McDowell. <laughs> wasn't she also in Groundhog Day? Sure was. <gasps> With who? With the Brian Doyle Murray? Yeah. Yes. I mean, I listed yes. him before Bill Murray. Yeah. Sorry, the more Bill Murray. the more famous Murray, of course. The I mean, Patriot maybe the main character. Of Pocket Pod. <laughs> yeah, that's Pocket Pod. <laughs> um, yeah. Andy Murray. McDowell of uh, Four Weddings and a Funeral. Is it raining? I hadn't noticed. That's her classic line from that movie. Oh, I think she I also did know. like a skincare commercial. Yes. Yes. Famously, she was... Oh, she was, she was, like, she was like a model Olé. before she was ever an actress. And yeah. One of those. She one was in those? one of those skin skincare. rejuvenations and things over yeah. the years. Yeah. Anyway, wow. But that was a lovely sidetrack from Amiibo action. Amiibos. We do have updates about Amiibo, a follow-up yes. about a chart, yes. correct? That's true. Yes, Can you tell us. enlighten us about That's the true. chart, JB? Well, uh, first of all, a shout out to Chris, whose name I did pronounce Chris. wrong last week. Just Chris. Oh, just oh. Chris. Okay, sorry, yep. Chris. Um, Chris. Right. Uh, the b- Apparently Polish, so it's just oh. Chris. Oh, ah, cool. Lesson learned. Um, all the things. Oh, we're so bad at names. We Americans. I know. <laughs> Can't figure out. I just, I saw a Z and had to just overpronounce that Z. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. That's just how we I do. I mean, how else do you say Z? Exactly. Z. <laughs> ah, Z. Um, <laughs> so this isn't our follow oops. So actually, uh, what's the song? Uh, oh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't remember. Do, 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 do. I don't want to wait for, for a, a follow, follow oops. oops. <laughs> <laughs> anyway thank you to chris it. um yeah. chris had shared this awesome chart last week and i did not understand what i was looking at and i was like how did how did they decide what which one was in the right category and and how the alignment set up and then we went through all of the villagers and we're like oh this one's probably more peppy than snooty and this one's probably more sisterly mm-hmm. than this um chris got it right yay good, good job chris completely nailed it Amazing. And, and the way that this chart is set up is, is actually by the amiibo number Oh. So if you if you look at the top right corner, if you zoom in on the chart, it's all, you know, in, in chronological or whatever, numerical order, serial, mm. it's serially in order. Gotcha. And so the, the lineup of like all the lady, lazies in a column, all the normies in a column. Oh. All the single lazies. All the single lazies. <laughs> it all works out perfectly well until you get to the last two in the bottom right where it's like two smugs in a column and then the bottom one is a lazy. Wait, what? And, t- and two oh. sisterly oh. in the column, and the bottom wait, one is. Wait, 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 wait. So there's question marks. There's a few that are undecided. The ones in the in the middle row are are follow the trend. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. So all the ones in the middle row actually do follow the trend, um, which is exciting. Is there ever a smug alligator? A smug alligator. Hmm. I, that makes me have to like think about the alligators and then realize the only alligator I can remember is Boots at this very moment. <laughs> Boots. Boots is the only alligator. There are no other alligators. Animal Crossing Just alligators. Kidding. We're about to find out. I'm tell gonna us, tell us. I'm tell gonna googs it right now. To get there's a the bunch goons. of alligators. There's the little. Um, I know. I'm just, I... There's a little dragon guy. Draco. Draco. Yeah, that, that's your jock friend, right? Yeah. There's Let's Allie. See. We have She's a, a lazy, a one. snooty, a jock, a cranky, a lazy, a normie, a normie, a lazy, and a jock. Ooh. That's it. Normal, yeah, like I no I know a lot of lazy and jocks. Yeah, there are no smug alligators, nor are there peppy alligators, hmm. nor are there sisterly alligators. I think, sisterly I think alligators. that's where we're lacking in alligators. Need some hmm. more variety. Well, maybe that'll be some new alligators down the. Well, to then, be fair, then, there's not a lot of alligators. So, you know. I guess that's true. Um, but yeah, so that was exciting to find out. So just to, just so we're super clear about this, um, 
our bunny friend Sasha is a lazy type. Uh, Ioni is a norm normy type. We said that. That's what we said. We knew that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it Tiang Sheng? Is that Chang. his name? Yeah. It's Jock. Um, so cute. Uh, the deer. What's the deer's name? Chino. Chino is Peppy. Peppy deer. Marlo. Also special to note, Chino is the first deer to have a female deer to have horns, which yes. is lovely and yes. exciting. So yay! I like it. L- little groundbreaker. Classic cutie. Yeah. Uh, Marlo is, is a cranky. Oh, so um, cute. I love his face. Uh, Petrie is a snooty. I thought oh, Petrie would be a sisterly, so <gasps> I feel that was... either could have worked. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, uh, the uh, Cephalobot is a smug, <laughs> and Quinn uh, is sisterly, and I Ooh, thought Quinn was more of a, was, was going to be a snooty, so I had those two reversed. She does have a regal eagle air regal about vibe. her. Yes. Um, and our new friends, whose names I don't know, the new penguin is a lazy... Oh, that was, shoot, he had a really funny name. It yeah, was like, like <laughs> with a yeah, B in it. The reason, friends, that we aren't saying it right now is that we're looking at they're a chart in, that uses the Japanese They're all in Japanese. Names. <laughs> yeah, which, and the names are different for the most part, I believe. I don't yeah. know if any of them actually have any overlap with the English names. But the new anteater is Normie. The new little bird is a jock. I remember he's Ace. Ace, yes. The new <laughs> long neck bird is Peppy. As Rio. The new doggo is cranky. Oh, I remembered it for a moment and then it was gone from my brain like a little <laughs> butterfly flying away in mist. And the Goodbye. new rhino Bye. lady is a snooty. She's a cutie. I remember her little flower nose. And the new little... Um, uh, uh, Roswell. Wasn't it Roswell? Who? The gator. The new lazy gator. Oh, I don't know. Sure. Why mm-hmm. not? That's his name. Because yeah, he has great. like crop circles. Crop circles. Shapes on sure. his mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... And then uh, what's what should we call it? She's a little bear. What kind of bear is that? A koala. A koala. Thank you. Also, not really a bear. <laughs> not a bear. <laughs> Thank you. Which is always so confusing. <laughs> Thank you. But it has the name bear in it. It, it only. They remind me of bears. There's so many bears that are not actually bears. Water bears. Bug bears. <laughs> Owl red, bears. Red panda bears. <laughs> and regular panda bears. Panda bears. <laughs> Good, good, good. You are knowing all the things. I think I think Lion Cake would be very proud of us in our knowledge of bears and what, mm-hmm. what are called bears and aren't bears. Correct. He would be all about it. Anyway, Chabwick is the name Chab- of the penguin. I'm sure of it. Chab. I didn't even have to look bee. it up. Chab- Chabwick. I want more names to have bees in them <laughs> to replace D's. Chabwick. I think Chabwick is so cute. I can't handle it's it. It's really cute. Yeah, it's right. Really cute. And if it's it actually, who knows? That might actually just be a what regional spelling names? of Chabwick. I don't know. What other names that have a D in the middle that you could replace with a B? That would be adorable. I can't think of any names that have a D in the middle. Well, what about Abba? Freddy. For Freddy. Adam. And Abum. Blue. Ab- Bru. And, and Bru. And Bru. And, and Bru. I love it. They're great. Abum and Ambu. It's just super Does cute. Does it have to be in the middle? Uh, nah, why not? Jerib. <laughs> oh, Jakar, we love your uh, name, Jerib. Jakar, Jerib. I love it. It's, it's great. I like I it. This is a winner. I love it. This there's is fantastic. nothing wrong with this. Oh, yeah. another thing there's nothing wrong with is the background of these new cards. How it has the little repeated leaf background from the mm. tropical oh, island. Right. You know, they're series yes. five. They have the little leafy. It's so sweet. I like it a lot. That's great. Wait, are all that. the other ones the same or do they have, do each one have different backgrounds? The rest of the amiibos have like a repeating pattern of like, um, I think it's like, um, what's the word? Uh, the paper, rock, scissors hand backgrounds and oh yeah paper, rock, and scissor uh, rochambeau rochambeau <laughs> classic it's because this, that had something to do with the welcome amiibo game i think that it could yeah. be like what's the <sighs> rock paper scissor hand no i have to look <laughs> edward edward edward, 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 rock, paper, edward. edward. <laughs> Edward, you get scissor hams. Edward scissor bams. Edward scissor bams. Edward scissor bams. And um, yeah. So, <laughs> oh, I wish I had brought a regular amiibo card with me. <laughs> we could Google it. It's fine. Oh, that's true. <laughs> There's a million on the internet. I've been searching for the last few weeks on how to how to get amiibos. <laughs> oh, have you been doing? I know. Put it in that research. Put it in that work and put just, in. Put in. <laughs> Pubbing in that work. You said put in. Series. I love some I'm just pudding. gonna look for series four amiibos and see what I find. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah, why not? Do it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? But I do like um, those backgrounds. Well that anyway, that was my that was my uh oops. That was my oops. It was your it was a good follow up You're oops, bad. And you learned about it and I loved it. Now my question is also as you look up the backgrounds, I remember seeing a background at one point in time of an amiibo card type background. And I don't know where it was, <laughs> but it was that same. I think that, was, that amiibo background also appears when we were calling an animal to visit our campsite. 
So, Sarah, what you're remembering, the hand is just a little icon, icon under on the, the number. Side. Oh, my bad. The my background bad. is just a classic, like, house balloon shell. Oh, classic Animal Crossing. Animal but in Crossing. the top yeah. left, it shows the icon of the, the, the animal type. Yeah. And then there's, like, uh, a dice underneath it. I, that, I think that also has to do with the... Oh, I see. Because it kind of tucks them in with the pattern repeating thing. But I think that also has to do with uh, the... Uh, shoot, what did I call it? It's the Happy... Nope. That one game that was You said the, Welcome Amiibo Festival Welcome Amiibo. Thing? Oh, Amiibo Festival. That was what it was what called. Are the, yeah, what are the little hands? That had to do with, like, you could use a character... I think it was, like, some aspect of playing the game. You could select an Amiibo, and it would, it that would like be there. It looks like sign language. Like, place... Well, that's paper. Paper versus... Paper, oh, scissor, rock, paper, rock. scissor. It is rock, paper, scissor. Oh, okay. Because it also I looks see. like your finger spelling. Or letter... Like, fi- letter... Finger yeah. lettering, whatever Le- it's called. Yeah, yeah. What's that like, called? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's called finger spelling. Signing. <laughs> signing. But, signing like, but, letters. but specifically signing with just oh, uh, finger spelling. <laughs> I gotcha. Letters, uh. Letter. Oh, my God. There's a term for it. Oh, my God. Anyway, moving Is on. it not finger spelling? You know what? If it's not finger spelling, I'm sure we will it's find it out and we'll look at it now. later. <laughs> Anywho, In the past, in the future. But yeah, the backgrounds are great. I think I was just looking at a fan-made one that included a, a fortune cookie in the background as well in that repeating pattern. And I was like, is that, does that hmm. mean it's going to be in the game? And no, that was just independent of actual Nintendo stuff. Do not lead me astray. <laughs> Fun so, artwork So they've online. retired these little extra icons for this new set, it looks like. That makes sense because I don't think anyone's there's, playing a media festival. No, well, and you can't use these there oh well i even read I makes sense that you can't even context. use the new villager cards until you've upgraded the game to 2.0 oh like you can't like so some people actually have already received them because they pre-ordered and they arrived mm-hmm. already oh and they can't uh, use the, and they actually can't use them yet you know though that makes sense because if the, the game doesn't have the content in it yet they couldn't like it would just it, be like it's not downloaded. what does this mean this is an illegal amiibo. illegal amiibo oh yeah and i saw an announcement on my switch today when i played that there is an update maintenance update tonight which is when tonight is wednesday so it's a couple days in advance oh, sure. of the new game so they're getting that stuff sorted Ooh, ahead should, of time should turn on my switch tonight and make sure that happens we oh good save no if you need a pen i can pass one over to you i lost the pen but i have my notebook would you like here you can use this one do you need a pen i haven't like many pens oh yeah sarah has 100 pens <laughs> any <laughs> at thank any you, time i carry at least 100 pens and that's just in my pocket thank you sarah B. is that 100 pens in your pocket or are you happy to see me <laughs> I'm times. so happy to see you all the time. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I just realized I'm not entirely sure what what time it is. Mm. What is the what um, is it? I think we haven't been it's it's a weird type of day. I don't know what, what time has happened. I'm I'm very excited for the new Amoeba cards. I it's can't wait. It's night time. It is night time indeed. Oh, I think we should take a little break. Guys. A little break. How is that break? possible? That can't be right. That that must be that must include the 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 pre stuff yes okay okay in that yeah. case whew, we can still go for a bit yeah we have time for the what's new what's new sail away new horizons what's new what's new see those are the words joelle you knew it all along <laughs> <laughs> it was in your heart all along i didn't even say anything this time i was hiding from leash this time oh <laughs> what's new you did a great job. And it was perfect what's news from Leaf. I did it. Perfectest. A plus Super action. Super nailed it. What is new? We've got some updates <laughs> coming down the pike. Yes. Learning new things as we learn from our friends and the interwebs. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me more. I'm backing up because I backed away from the thing. <laughs> what's new? Oh, IGN. I know. That's right. This is the thing that I thought I had talked about the on the Arctical. podcast. Yeah, but, but we no. never talked about. You nope. talked about with someone You talked that's about us. it to yourself that is probably also true i do talk to myself and you know sometimes that that i'm the only person who wants to listen to me so Mm -hmm. that's okay but um so what we're talking about now is the official announcement from nintendo that the this dlc this beautiful update that we're getting is the last major update for new horizons so well i to be Clear because I don't think they made it clear okay, in the, clarify, in the direct. Please. No, in the direct they said this update to 2.0 is the last major update to New Horizons, and then they announced the DLC. And at no point at the DLC did they say this was the only DLC we were getting. Right. The, I think it was my sticking point for that was the, the it was misleading in the direct because they said this is the last free correct update 
This is last, last free, free major, major update. update. Yeah. Then they proceeded to show the DLC and not say this is the last paid DLC. This is the DLC. only paid DLC. This is right? not, they, they didn't say that. Yeah. So like, I don't know. So they emphasized the word free. So I was yes. like, okay, so paid major updates could happen. Yes. They left that door wide open. Absolutely thought and that And then too. they announced the DLC. So I was like, okay, so DLCs could still happen. They announced this giant DLC. It was $25. We're sure. all blown away and excited about yeah. it. So cool. We're all excited. We're all going to buy it. When's the next one coming right? out? Yeah, mm-hmm. we're ready. And there's, there's so much more that could happen. Apparently not. So we're about to get what we're about to get, and that's our game for the foreseeable. They yes. might patch things. We might sure. get seasonal little things here little and there, treats. treats and bugs and whatnot. But like treats and bugs. But we're not getting yeah, anything major mm-hmm. ever. Which again. I think is interesting because I feel like there's like a whole revenue stream that they could like tap into more. Like at least maybe. Did it say the last DLC ever or just last major? No, they they said this is the only DLC they're creating. The like only they are, DLC. There's no more production on New Horizons. And the only paid DLC for this title. Yeah. So yeah. that was the big... So, so yeah. the, the, the idea is they're, they might be pivoting a team towards whatever the new console, console is. game will be, which is seven years away, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, this is going to last us as long as it has to last us. Um, I, how long did New Leaf have to have to last everybody? Oh, my gosh. It was forever. A decade? I, was it like 16 years or something? It, was, it felt like a long time. It probably wasn't It wasn't was 16 20 years. I have not yes. known you that long. That's New impossible. New Leaf has been gone for 83 years. years. It's been 82 years. So, because I played City Folk. Yes. It's the and Titanic you, to- you told me about City Folk in like 20... 20- well, Eleven, I believe, in it was like New Leaf came out in 2013, and then Welcome Amiibo came out for New Leaf in 2016. <laughs> I do love that you just said 16 years, and I almost believed you for a hot second. <laughs> so I was like, wait a second. But then I had to do the math, and I was like, I've only known your husband for 16 years, and I've known about two Animal Crossing games before this point. <laughs> Alas, you saw through my scheme. But yeah, uh, I mean, it's still a lot of content, and they're giving it to us in all in one big. <laughs> One big dump, as I mentioned before. Um, it was eight years. Eight years. So it was released wow. in Japan in 2012 and uh, the U.S. Well, in 2013. My seven-year estimate is not that far there you off. Go. Then. Look at that. You, so, <laughs> so you got it. So we and we we've we they presumably already been thinking about it since they released. Yeah, like yeah. they have things in the works. The next console we know is like the upgrade to the current console like they're just they're just keep you know the oled screen and then the pro might happen or something like we don't know what the next console is but chances are the next console do you think it'll still be like the switch with like little removable handle joy removable handles that you play games on what they're gonna do they they, they (laughs) love to innovate they love to innovate i can't even (laughs) in this top maybe (laughs) maybe the next one is just gonna be vr and we're just gonna be walking through our islands and it'll be just wild and wild and crazy Wild and wonderful. Wild, wild and, and crazy wonderful. kids. West Virginia. I want to walk through my island. Oh, I want to just like, you know, dance with Isabel. That sounds delightful. Oh my gosh. Hey, we're very close to it with our new yeah. b- personal our new, view camera you know, up close thing. And, and, and the dance in the plaza, you know, oh my exercise gosh, in the plaza. So cute. I am looking forward to that for sure. That's cute. But yeah, so no new... I mean, it's good to have it official. I wish they had just come they, out with it in the direct. Yeah, they, they, they worded that so shadily uh, it's like were they not sure at that point if they were going to release everything or maybe that's what it was they, they just didn't, didn't want to bum people out in the direct uh, i don't know i don't know i weird. don't know what's worse bumming people out or stringing them along for a <laughs> <bit>. <laughs> stringing right? them along but i mean stringing us along. i'm not i'm not mad at you nintendo i'm still very happy i'm just disappointed so <laughs> <laughs> classic <laughs> no I'm, yeah. I'm still excited no, I mean they're but as as we've said they're dropping so much right now and I don't I, as I think you and I have all you and I all three of us have been we've been pretty busy lately. You and I and I and I. You, and you. Uh I have plenty of time to work through this new content horizon? dump that they're giving us. This new horizon <laughs> of content <laughs> dump they're giving us. It might take me 7 years to see everything new, that new they're horizon. releasing and right now. I have to tell you that it's quite possible that you might just feel overwhelmed and not ready to jump into Happy Home yeah. Paradise at this point yeah. because I talked with my mom about it and she's like I'm just going to wait yeah. on that because there's so much new stuff I need mm-hmm. to learn. I'm not already. in a rush. I'm yeah. not in a rush. In Let fact, me enjoy this there's new been stuff. some chatter in the Discord about that too like mm. feeling a little bit overwhelmed Aww. and people trying to prepare their islands <gasps> and doing this and that and oh my it's gosh. like how do yeah, you no prepare pressure. your no islands? Just like Get a feel for the game and see what you need and feel it out. There's no pressure. Enjoy it. 
let yourself take no your one's, time. No one's forcing you to learn <sighs> these new skills. I mean, I want to meet Wardell, but maybe I'll go meet Wardell and then go wander off for three months and go mm. meet him again later. Oh, it is so mm. cute. Those new characters are so Wardell. adorable. Little Wardell. Yep. What a charmer. I can't wait to meet them yep. all in person. As far as, I mean, that covers the IGN article yeah. and the big reveal. Yeah. Did we want to talk about the actual cover artwork that we've mm-hmm. seen previewed? This is so cool. I think it's interesting. Um, Lo, Lo posted two pictures. The European one and the American cover are slightly different. And it's just, is it me or is it just in the title text itself? <laughs> it's just the title text. That's I can't so see a funny. single difference. Like, Why? no one's hair color. No one's wearing different <laughs> oh, shoes weird. or anything. It's just the, the title is slightly different. There's subtitles slightly Wait, different. Wait, which one's ours? The bottom one? Ours is the bottom one. The top one, the colorful one, the one that looks like, you know, a Rio festival. Uh, that one is the European one. The one, the US one has to have a jaunty angle for the text. And it's all blues. All greeny blue. That's I interesting. I don't know why. I don't, it doesn't quite make any sense why that's the US one. Does that mean the game, the in-game titles will match the cover titles? I'm super curious. That's so weird. We should ask, I, ask screen people, caps. hey screen everyone caps, listening, screen take caps. some screen caps of the opening titles for HHP yeah, and why. show us what your screen caps look like in different countries. I am befuddled and interested and just plain curious about why was that yeah. decision made. But like otherwise, <laughs> I don't see a difference. I like I'm looking at the picture. No, the, the picture looks the picture the is same. very cute. Like this is one of those games where like what's different between the pictures? Nothing. <laughs> yes, don't try spotting the difference like, and you'll be just like Bo is same wearing picture, the same cute meme. green sweater and Nico is still in the same cute little room with little paint cans and oh, uh, there's the cute little cute little um Oh, what's her face? What's cute cat? little what's Mitzi? her face? Mitzi. Cat. Yeah, yeah. That's oh yeah, she's Mitzi a cutie. the cat. Oh, all this great furniture. Oh. I can't wait. And in the background we got little Sherry. Yeah. And O'Hare. O'Hare. Mm-hmm. And Ioni. Look oh, at Ioni on her own little on her own Ioni Island. Oh, oh my gosh, is that Antonio far in the background there? <gasps> Holy Yo, cow, you Antonio. know it is. Yo, More is that Antonio? <laughs> More reps. Wait, where do you see Antonio? <laughs> He's way in the back over there, but in the very last little house. He's be the island beyond Ioni's island. I I He's I... right by the door. <laughs> How can you tell I'm that that's him? How can you. you not tell that it's him? I, it looks, it <laughs> looks like reps. a tree to me. I can't tell that well, it's there, there is, is a tree. tree. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good reason it looks like a tree, because that what? is, in fact, a tree. He's standing like, He's directly a yellow in front shirt. of the house. Oh, my God. It's, uh... <laughs> it's okay. No pressure. Uh... I promise you we're not making this up just to, to trick you it and make you It just looks feel... like squiggly lines to me. <laughs> <gasps> Well, that is why Antonio is on my island. Oh, I have to tell <laughs> you, Leish, on your island. He came up when I was when I was going villager hunting, uh-huh. and I saw him, and I was like, "I adore you, but you're Leish's friend." <laughs> and I, 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 you know, we I, we had a little chat, and I said more reps to him, and then I left. <laughs> mm, he's my bud. More reps and solidarity. He's just his little sweet potato. He's so cute. <laughs> I do love. I Do still love. don't see it. I feel like I feel like this is magic this eye. It's like over. a magic eye. Like, <laughs> Joel, Joel. It's a dinghy. Relax. <laughs> relax your focus. Just relax Look through the painting. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find like a high res happy home <laughs> paradise. Aww. Oh no. That's so funny. I love it. Happy home paradise <laughs> video game cover. Oh, speaking of friends from Happy Home Paradise, we do have for, for those of us that are playing Pocket Camp, we have the special treat of the Happy Home Academy has now welcomed Lottie, Nico, and Wardell into mm. the judge panel. And they Aww. are very, very cute. So you can see their little faces oh, nice. every long time. I see him now. Oh, you see <gasps> him now? You did. I got Relaxed. a proper zoom. I got oh, a proper zoom. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. He's, he's coming out of his front door. He sure is. He's Look at that bug. coming that- out. I literally, he all I saw was squiggly lines. Know, got to let it show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Aww. buddy. He's so cute. He's fresh. Okay, He's I feel better fresh. now that I recognize Antonio. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I know. Welcome, Antonio. Look, I enhanced. I found the enhance you button. Did. Enhance. <laughs> enhance. Zoom. You enhance. do have the enhance. Well, you're a, des- you're a super designer, so you get the enhance button. <laughs> oh, look at Lottie's little bows on her shoes. They're just the cutest. Oh let my me gosh. see those bows. She's got little blue bows oh, on her, so little, cute. I didn't her that. little sandals. And she has a little oh, bracelet. Oh my gosh, yes. she's fresh. Oh my gosh, could that possibly be a scrunchie that she could put her oh. little hair up with? Well, she already has something in her hair, so Does maybe it matter? it's like an extra one. I, 100% on. <laughs> maybe she's yes, got like a right. double, matter, she's double scrunchie. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm she's surprised I don't have a, a hair tie on my wrist right <laughs> now. I love it. All the scrunchies, but I love it. Oh, yeah. She's really rocking the turquoise. 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 The turquoise. 
Very, very uh, she's cute. got the island life going. The coral and the turquoise. <laughs> I, love I love her, her little. Uh, what is that? A frangipani. The uh, the lovely fragrant blossom in her hair. Mm. I know it has another name that I'm blanking out on right now, but cute flower. Amazing. Go I love the, the little clipboards everyone's carrying around to do oh, their. I am their such a big fan of clipboards in life. Ah, uh, clipboards are great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Delightful thing. And how this is and great. How and the little blue birds, little blue birds, little tweets, and little blue friend. birds. Did you want to talk about? A little blurb you saw about Wardell there, Joel. <laughs> Wardell, yeah. Joel. Yeah. So Lottie took over Twitter this week. For, yes. Took over <gasps> Isabel on Twitter. It's true. Cute. And it was so sweet. And so Lottie was introducing all kinds of things about Happy Home Paradise, and she posted the sweet little, the sweet little in- intro to Nico and Wardell. <gasps> cute. And she said, uh, "Today I want to introduce a few of the fine folks at Paradise Planning. Please say hello to Nico, our primate in prime real estate." <laughs> I love I love a rhyming intro. I do too. It's good. And my manatee friend here is Wardell. He doesn't say much, but he can do it all. I hope he'll join the team. <gasps> I was delighted to learn that our manatee friend Wardell doesn't say much. Oh my goodness. I love a quiet friend. Aww. I love a non-talker in Animal Crossing. That is a blessed non-existent thing in Animal Crossing. I'll be perfectly <gasps> honest. That's true. They're all pretty chatty in Animal right? Crossing, aren't they? Right? So having someone <laughs> that I could just walk up to and have a you know brief interaction with that is just sweet. <gasps> You know what? I feel like you'll probably enjoy interacting with Brewster as well because he doesn't say a whole lot. He's not lot. chatty. Good. He's not chatty either. Fine. Great. So this is welcome friends who may not be the chattiest new friends. This is fun. So let's move it along. Let's have quick conversations and get Aww. down to the point, Wardell and Brewster. There's a place for everyone. <laughs> yeah. In welcome. Crossing. So prosh. Welcome, unchatty Cathy's. A little introverted, Unch- maybe. Yeah. Aw. That's just, fine. Just yeah. quiet types. I like mm-hmm. them. Where, yeah, where are the quiet type animals? That'd be nice. Like a, a new personality. Oh, dream sweet, dream sweet. Personality yeah. types. Yeah, like the, types. the normies would probably be the quiet types, you know, because the, they like to read, but they're not. They're not. They're chatty they're not like the rest of them. quiet by any no. stretch of no, the they're, imagination. They're chatty like chatty. the rest of them. True enough. Oh, little Nico is a cute boot. He's probably a little yeah. chatty fellow. Well, a shy or a quiet type. I bet Nico talks for everyone. I bet <laughs> he just speaks for the whole the whole team. He looks very excitable. Uh-huh. He's happy and cute. Have we I bet he doesn't stand still or stay even on the ground often. I want to know what type of inspiration primate they have. I don't know if he's a gibbon. Yeah, he's I was trying gibbon-y. to figure out what kind of primate he was. He's a cute primate. He's one of the furrier ones, which I'm always a fan of. Because he's got the little, 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 little face with little white fur around his face. I like him. Oh my god. I, sh- I-, I want to give them all hugs. I want to have plushies of everything, and I don't need plushies, but they are very cute. They are very and cute. they look very huggable. A plushie of a manatee mm-hmm. is always welcome in my life. Oh, that's something there needs to be more plushies. I of. had a, I had a plushie manatee what? as a child. Oh my goodness. Amazing. I named him Manny. Aww, Manny the manatee. Classic, mm-hmm. classic kid <laughs> Why not? naming system. Mm-hmm. Why not? I he was very love it. he was very snuggly. I liked him a lot. Oh, um, precious. Sarah, so so these two friends, you also met them in another place recently. I did. I had mentioned it already. You did? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Matt Dillon. <laughs> Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon. Matt Super Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon moments. But yeah, da, 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 so da, da, they are, da. in fact, in Pocket Camp uh, in the, the Happy Home Academy. Yeah. You can see them in their little sweet faces judging your selections of furniture. Yeah. Judging you harshly with are their Are they permanently faces. there or are they just visiting? I hope they're there permanently. It doesn't say anything about them being temporary. Okay, because the way I thought it was worded when I saw the announcement was like, they're, they're, I, th- I thought she said visiting or guest or oh, something. Oh, maybe. Maybe they're maybe just passing through. Maybe that's just a cute way of wording and they're just here forever. Well, if you saw them say that they're just passing through or just visiting, then quite possibly they're just here for a short time and then they're off to happy home paradise yeah. to do their thing. Many people on Reddit and other places are suggesting that Nico may be a lemur. Oh, really? Mm. I love lemurs. I like a lemur. Is he like a Zabumafu lemur? I don't think I've been specific about that. Someone else said he looks like a longer to me. And I said he does kind of look like a a longer. Check out this guy. Oh, he's cute. He's definitely got the white fluff. Mm. Now I want to look up what a gibbon looks like. Gibbon primate. Well, see, this is what a gibbon looks like. He's got, like, the little furry fluffs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could see that being an but, inspiration, too. But there, you know what? He's a cute little primate, no matter what type he's based off of. I do like to learn specific inspirations, because it's fun. Oh. I like, yeah, there's a lot. There really are a variety of lemurs, too, so you don't, I don't know. Kind of, yeah. What type of lemur was Zabumafu? Zabu. Zabumafu. I don't know. We haven't watched that in a long time. Lemur. It's been that I don't know if it's been on the air for a long time. 
Because I mean, it, it, it no, but my children watched it on in, Amazon Prime. Oh, they did nice. <laughs> they oh, they liked of course. it. Yeah. Aww, everything is rewatchable and still classically delightful. Yeah, they loved Zabu. Zabu. I was leaping <laughs> along. A <laughs> uh, Sifaka <laughs> lem- <laughs> lemur is what <laughs> Zabumafu is. That was what started the Kratz creatures, wasn't it? The Correct. Zabumafu. Oh, so cute. Yes. Adorable. What about an Indride? <laughs> Indrid yes. day, baby. Sure. This I don't know. this Indrid this day. guy sort of sort of has a little this guy vibe. Oh, that's cute. That looks a lot like the the lemur from Zabuma food. That looks like this guy, but different. Oh, I see. They're a bit different. <laughs> they are different. They're not the same. <laughs> they are not the same. They are cute and they are different. Anywho, all right. What do you think, Nico is listeners? Oh, what do you think? He has Name a primate. Us? Any primate. Go. Any old primate. It would be funny if there was a primate that had Nico in the name and that was like, the answer was looking at us the whole time. It was looking like right, right in our face. Up in our faces. It was a Nikibin. <laughs> Nikibin? <laughs> like a gibbon? <laughs> I think it's time for a break. I think, I think it, so too. I think it super is. Support for Pocket Pod is brought to you by Manscaped. Who is the best in below the waist grooming and hygiene. Folks, listen up. Manscaped just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right, the 4.0. Manscaped is trusted by over 4 million men worldwide, so why not trust it for your man too? Get 20% off and free shipping with the code POCKETPOD at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the code POCKETPOD. Do it today. Do it now. Sponsored content. (laughs) Selling out. Selling out for the, for the good stuff. Hold on, I can't deals. hear you. I've got my mink stole wrapped around my head. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This is producer Jack, in case anyone doesn't recognize his voice. But of course you do, because you heard him on The Man Show That's at some right. point. Everyone yeah. listened to that special episode last year, obviously. Because we got feedback. Favorite. That's how we know y'all listened. <laughs> That's right. Feedback. Um, but anyway, yeah, we sold out. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> just kidding, we're not kidding. Just kidding, we are. Just kidding, we're not. But we, we reached out to manscaped and they would like to do a partnership with us and we have a bunch of little goodies that we got to sample which is super exciting yeah free stuff can, can we start by talking about the cool packaging because you guys were excited <gasps> about the <gasps> yes. packaging and we are fit packaging and finish yes. the gifts are fantastic yes. do you want to start with the logos or do we want to talk about the actual package i want to talk about the, the unboxing experience the and unboxing how it makes you feel experience. special like That's when true, someone gives, gets you this as a gift you feel like they really care about you. <laughs> That's true. Because, and because, if you guys yeah. use the code pocketpod at manscaped.com, you get 20% off and free shipping. Bow, bow, bow. Worldwide and you could shipping. use that to get the performance package that oh. we so all So that's, received, yeah, that we get to right? sample. Right. Yes. That was great. So, so that was great. Right. The, the performance package comes in a very nice gift box. Box. Yeah. It was yeah. a lovely box. But I think the thing that I was most excited for as a designer was the little, like, Info, info pages that they gave you that yeah, had like very sheets. nicely printed oh the newspapers <laughs> artwork where the sh- oh no we're gonna that get to awesome. that okay. that's that so exciting awesome. too <laughs> but and I was like oh this is so nicely packaged and like well thought out the performance package came with boxers which was wonderful they were so nice I wore them three days in a row and <laughs> turning them on the second day just like a fresh no, air in and then out but the packaging was amazingly adorable and the little inserts were very helpful to give you a little rundown of everything that your packaging mm-hmm. includes which was mm-hmm. great mm-hmm. and the little logos and icons were precious there's a so little cute. store the logos are on... brilliant right like yes. i haven't seen them yet because mine got delayed for complicated reasons but i saw some pictures <gasps> yeah. there's a little stork Logo, I don't think I saw the logo on their website for sure. Oh, okay, gotcha. it's about free ship. I think it's about free shipping because oh. you do get free shipping with the Pocket Pod. Keep an eye out. I, I assume logo. the stork is in the same design system as the other logos. Yes, we it's saw. like um, it's like a two D line yes, drawing. It's a line oh. drawing icon. Yeah. But as you're familiar with, like a baby stork yes, picture delivery. Sure, there's like <laughs> a oh. baby stork. Except imagine instead of one little little heavy girthy thing <laughs> in there, there are two. It's oh. like an upside down <laughs> camel. Carrying <laughs> twins. I love it. That makes it's sense. Carrying Twins it's, so gently, yeah. <laughs> like an upside down cradling it. hump, yes. for example. Yes, oh, yes, that's so fun, precious. That's what I'm going to use to describe what we're talking about from now on an upside down camel's hump. Oh, a, a dromedary camel, if you wait. I'm sorry, Bactrian camel has two humps, if or two sure. maybe nook bell bags. Very nice. I like yep. that. Why not? Yep. So, two nook bell bags, perfect. Two nook bell bags, perfectly delightful. Yep, I mean. Do, what, do we want to talk about the items that are included yes. in those items? 
Yes. I mean, there's one that we specifically should talk about. <gasps> oh, is it the Lawnmower 4.0? Which 4. is the Lawnmower 4.0. 4. Oh, it is fantastic. Um, producer Jack has already tested this buddy out. Yes, I appreciate. So I think my favorite thing about the Lawnmower 4.0 is the spotlight <gasps> built into it because Sorry. it eliminates the need to have your phone awkwardly this one? Um, adjusted to have like a flashlight down there and then you're at risk of taking an unfortunate selfie of yourself. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's vibrating. super bright. Oh, it's on. Yeah, you just press, tap it once to turn it on, tap it once to turn it off. The light always turns on. It's like a really good screw gun. In that respect, There's hair on it. <laughs> it does come with it a couple cut. of brushes to clean, and it well, does. I don't want to see it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's a great. It's a great razor yeah. has the protective uh, uh, cover, so you can have uh, variable lengths, like mm-hmm. you know any other um, clippers. And it's super smooth and quiet. You know, it's not. Uh, it doesn't scare you with loud grindy noises. You know, you want to keep quiet. it. It is quiet. Here. I can't hear it. I can't yeah. hear it. It's not. Oh, there. Oh, oh, there it's picking there up. It's picking up. Yeah, oh, no, it's, it it's super quiet, and, and the the grip, again, it's it's nicely shaped, so it's an, it's a it's soft small, feel too. It's smaller than other grooming tools. Correct. Yeah, it's not as big as my like head clippers, odd for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's uh, and you wouldn't use your head clippers. Well, that'd be dangerous for below the belt. Oh, yeah. which is an important point that you don't be using the same equipment for below the belt that you do for on your face. You right. Don't, you don't use the same gear for the the curtains as you do the rug. <laughs> that's right. Yes, that's right. You don't vacuum your <laughs> curtains. I don't know. <laughs> it just I felt confident that I wasn't going to brutally injure myself. Yeah, and uh, good. and uh, uh, spoiler, it I didn't brutally <laughs> injure myself. So it was fantastic. I really appreciated that. Um, the wireless charging was nice. It has a, a handy holding piece there for yeah. wireless charging it's it's wireless nice yeah a little cradle a little cradle and it has a little like battery gauge that like blinks up and tells you when it's full which is nice as well nice very cool i'm actually the light thing is the thing that i find most exciting i love a light i feel like all i think tools all grooming tools yeah should, should have, have a light, light. like brilliant. why don't any of the ones for women have enough lights like you always have to have like a mirror with a light and a thing and this <laughs> there's always like extra parts there's always extra mm. things you have to hold yeah. something or a and as produce, something. producer producer jack was saying before the show like if you're holding up your phone there's you know you need that hand to adjust where you want to go with the blade right so go to manscape.com use the code pocket pod for 20 percent off and free shipping and we're back we're back Back from a break. Hope Hopefully, a like, big comeback. Hope you all enjoyed that break. Yeah, I know I did. That was a pretty exciting break. Fun break. Fun break. We have a sponsor. Yeah, that's it happened. Exciting. Yes, it happened. Thank you, listeners, for being good listeners and listening to our sponsorships. Yes, thank you. We so appreciate much. it. We give you. And many if you're high interested fives. in in the stuff, please go check them out. Yeah, and feel free to share the code with your friends and family. Yes, if, you like. if there's yes. somebody you know can use it, pass it along. Yes. Do please feel free. Oh my gosh. So guys, it I know it feels like a million years ago, but Halloween was just like a couple days ago, not too many days ago. Oh my gosh. Ago. I you I lie. can't. I know. I'm not lying. People someone asked me, was it yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "How's your Halloween?" I'm like, "Halloween?" So it was long a million ago. years it was like ago. like 2 days ago. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, it was, it was good." It was a very long day. Oh, mm-hmm. was it? Tell cuz you you had a very fun family ensemble. Yes. They looked We amazing. were the Teen Titans, mm-hmm. specifically so of Teen Titans Go. Ha. Nice. With the exception of a certain little Starfire's hair that was red because we couldn't find a pink wig at the time. Uh, um, very cute. But yeah, it was it was a great day. Oh. Um we started out um doing like the, uh, um my son's school had like a little Oktoberfest. What? And the kids dressed up and they had a trunk or treat outside and like fun little games and stuff. And my daughter, who is Starfire, had a mini meltdown because she didn't want to wear leggings oh, with no. her Starfire outfit, even though it was very cold. Oh, my. Um, so she had to settle on a different wardrobe <gasps> change costume thing. So she was Princess Aurora of Sleeping Beauty. Oh, that's fun. For that one. And then Sounds she had adorable. to do another... <laughs> costume change later that night oh costume change so dramatic exciting yep. fun i love it and i was cyborg yeah um, your costume was, was awesome cool. thank you i you, made it I, the night before wow you, you nailed it job. it was great it was great thank you Looked nice and like Thanks. armory yes that was Robo-armor. um all foam oh. the silvery foam actually had like a sticky back which i didn't oh. i didn't plan on that but it was actually worked out really well because i could stick it to my clothes and Yay. it kind of like stuck on a little bit better that was very cool um 
and then I learned how to use like special glue that the the super crafty cosplay Ooh, people use with foam whoa. and because it can't dissolve the foam. I think that's right. The trick. There's a special uh, foam or there's a special glue. It's it's kind of to mm-hmm. me it's kind of like um, rubber cement, but oh, I guess okay. it's it's more durable and stronger oh, okay. for for the EVA Magic. foam. I oh. think it's called. Um, it's just a thicker foam that you use for for cosplay and stuff nice so i did a little research i'm Aww. obviously not anywhere near as talented as some of those people but um it was super fun That's to awesome. make and then um producer jack was raven and little lion cake was beast boy yay which started the whole thing because he mm-hmm. wanted to be beast boy and then he <laughs> did, and then she, my daughter decided she both if he's beast boy then i have to be starfire oh um, and then they thought events. it was funny that they would make me cyborg because it would be hard. Oh, and, you'd have to make an elaborate yeah, costume. Yeah, yeah. True. So they tasked me with it. it. I was like, yeah. fine, I'll do it. Challenge <laughs> accepted. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it was fun. It was super fun. And we walked around and our house was decorated. And it was it was great when people recognized who we were. Oh, yay. I mean, people know who Teen Titans are, but not it's not like it's not like Batman or sure. some of the no, larger no. It's true. Um it's much more recent heroes. in the grand scheme of like yes. animated series for sure. Yes. So it was really cute when yay. there would be like little kids be like, That's Beast Boy and that's Starfire. Aww. And that's I was like, Yes! Ah, well so done, precious. well done. Oh, so that's very exciting. That's perfect. That is so cute. Yes. Love it. Great hits of Halloween. Yeah. And we also had some sweet Halloween treats through for Pocket Pod. Mm-hmm. I was pretty excited to see these amazing yeah. images that are so cute. Joel, you have posted them again for us in here. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, some of our lovely gosh. friends posted their their island <sighs> uh, 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 pictures of um, sp- spoopifications, if oh you my will, mm-hmm. and, and some fun costumes as well. Um, so thank you to uh, Malloween, Jennifer, and Mary Berry oh, for so sharing. Cute. Um, I thought we could talk about some of them. Of yeah, the, what the ones we the ones we like, whatever. Please. I I picked um, both Malloween and Jennifer shared so many. So these are just oh. highlights of the ones they shared. Oh my um, gosh, so precious. Uh, I think uh, one of my favorite ones from the ones Malloween shared is the one where she's a stack of pumpkins because it reminds yes. me of the a classic leash costume. Oh, where the classic mm-hmm. leash was oh, a stack of pumpkins. Goodness. I was a pumpkin with a pumpkin head. Uh huh. Yeah. So that kind of reminds me of this Molly Mo- Molly Ween Molly. <laughs> uh, she set up a, uh, a standee with two pumpkins on oh, the middle, and her cute. and her head is that third pumpkin. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. Super cute. Very Super cute. cute. Ah, it's great. Quite quite good. Oh, um. Goodness. Uh, and by the way, I was on her island. All of her villagers are the spoopiest villagers. <gasps> what? They're all like, um, I don't know. Every single one of them is like is like like a black furred mm-hmm. uh, villager. Aww. So they all just fit that like dark vibe aesthetic. Like I, I don't think it. you're allowed to visit her island in the daytime. I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> you have that's to be awesome. like accidentally snug up upon by a villager. <laughs> Keep it spooky. It's I, I think she'd prefer if it was spooky all year round. Yeah. I yeah. like it. And you know what? You can make your island as spooky as you like. Yeah. I embrace the year round Halloween. Um, I learned this year, I went to her island on um, Halloween, and I, I also have the same villager on my island. <gasps> we both have Lucky. Oh! Mm. Would you like to know what Lucky dresses as for Halloween? Yes! Do you know already? I don't know! What do you think Lucky dresses as for Halloween? What What would be your, like, default guess? I mean, he's already a mummy, so I would guess he would do something else. Is he a witch? You would guess he would do something else, wouldn't you? Yes, does he dress as a mummy? He dresses as a mummy! <laughs> Really? I was like, oh my wait, gosh, what? Lucky, you would what think he you? would dress as something else. Aww. I love him. But I did find it super cute that he put on the mummy outfit. So I have him and uh, Hans, the two of them oh. are both dressed as mummies for Halloween. Oh my goodness, that is so <laughs> cute. Wait, do you have a picture of that in here? Um, it's in, uh, well, actually, I guess it wasn't on Halloween day, so it's not in here. Oh, that's okay. Um, but I do have pictures from my night that I, maybe I'll use that as one of the cover images. Uh, yay, this week, that'd or, be awesome. As the cover image, one yeah, of the cover images. that's perfect for Halloween. Um, and I see and, we have oh yeah. gosh, so many cute things. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love the little monster. Which that's one? So precious. There's a little monster that's doing the like haunted face that's got like standing in front of some a uh, lovely stall of fr- fruits. It looks like an autumnal kind of interior scene. That's very cute. 
Oh yeah. The, oh, the the you talking about Mary Berry's? Uh, that, little, oh yes, Mary Berry's little, little yes. monster. Yeah, oh. that one's super cute. A plus. I um, love those a monsters. plus Mary Berry's. Um, this yeah, she set up a little like Halloween stand, uh, some like in, indoors, and then little little trick or treater oh doing the little monster crawl. Super cute. A plus adorbs. I love it. This and is like a, a very cute setup. A queen of hearts. That is very 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 um, cute. Mm-hmm. And yes, so Jennifer shared four different uh, photos, including a pocket camp, an old a classic pocket. Oh, classic camp. pocket camp. Let me. See. Oh, I. See. See it. I, I see little little Henry with his little pumpkin. Um, oh my gosh! Um, pumpkin like uh, pumpkin uh, cart cart thingamajig. He's sitting there <laughs> at the pumpkin cart. Um, but yeah, she she did this beautiful Queen of Hearts outfit with the with the red hair and the, mm-hmm. and the crown. It is fantastic. Splendid. And the the roses don't look too, like they could have looked orange, but she made them look kind of red in this photo. <laughs> she kind of nailed it. Um. And then, she nailed it. And you say kinda, I think you mean completely super nailed 100% it. I'm so sorry. Nailed it. 100% nailed it. <laughs> she kinda. She kinda nailed it. She kinda, she nailed she kinda it. 100% nailed it. Uh, and then there's this cute little pumpkin, like pumpkin carving area. I think that's kind of what this is. Like a little, oh my gosh. little crafting pumpkin area um, in front of the plaza. <laughs> and then I just Sweet. thought this really cute photo. She's dressed as a pirate. And there's, 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 um, there's, uh, uh, stars coming down and there's just oh. a bunch of little lit up pumpkins behind her and it's just very Charming. spoopy Halloween charm. Oh yeah. Oh. I was like, where are we nice looking? <laughs> I'm, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going out of order in her pictures. <laughs> it makes I got it, it fun. It's like it. a, a quest for fun things for us to find. Yeah. And I say A plus. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you friends for sharing your Halloween moments. These are so beautiful. Oh. Makes me feel like having Halloween all over again. And I just can visit my island and enjoy all the pumpkin decorations that I plan to keep up for a while because yeah. they're too adorable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To away. I, I think that the newest thing that they gave us this year, the pumpkins that light up with the little like pictures inside. Oh, the, the spooky surprise lantern, I think. I think that's what it's called. Mm-hmm. Those are super cool. Oh my gosh, yeah. They have a different little cutout design inside mm-hmm. that lights up. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, Molly did a cool thing where she set where she set the she made them white and then she put them on the pedestals mm-hmm. from the turkey, yeah, the that's turkey good, event from a last good year, combo, and they look, they look like they're kind of part of it. So like they're really cool. Stone. If you get a chance, oh, I even think idea. she shared a dream address <gasps> in our Discord. Oh my gosh, you should really check out Malouine's Spoopy Island. I'm it's check pretty out, solid. I'm gonna visit, it's visit the spoops, spooped head to toe, and then you could now you can save your favorite dreams and revisit them whenever you like. Mm. Is that a thing? Yeah, like you can save your dream address that you want to re- like favorite oh, cool. them, which is really helpful. Wait, uh, is what? That what do you mean? Oh. That like you can visit it, uh, you can have enter the code once, and then the next time you go to a dream, you can revisit a dream. Remem- it remembers. It remembers. Yeah. Past you don't have to re-enter address. the code it has again. Has a history nice. memory. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long. But how you can only have one lasts. dream. Oh, oh, the dream that you produce. Yes, as as far as I know, you're still limited to one. That's why I have not redreamed because I like keeping mine that has my cardboard maze still in existence. Oh, the carbo. My carbo mm. maze. Um, fun fact: I still have never visited a dream. <laughs> Joelle, I don't you know can why. embrace the dream. I've been meaning to, and then I just never do. <laughs> I think I've seen so many, and I'm like, I'm going to visit that island and that island, and then I just never do. You know what, though? There's so much to do in game that it's hard. <laughs> so I'm always constantly just running around my own island trying to figure out what I want to do next. And, like, I should run into a dream and look for ideas, but instead I just run around my island staring at things going, hmm. <laughs> What should I do here? You do like the little thought, um, yeah. thought emote, the, the thought, <laughs> the Just reaction. Stand around, thunking, <laughs> thunking it up all day long. Actually, I have visited one dream, but it was my own for my 1.0 island, oh. which is still alive, by the way. You could always visit Doppel Me anytime. Doppel Joel still exists. That's right. You can visit original Woe Oasis mm-hmm. 1.0. Mm-hmm. You can mm-hmm. find me, and I'll scream help at you when you when you find me. <laughs> <laughs> and if I may bring up a. Hmm, I have something I was thinking about and something I don't know if anyone else knows about and maybe you already do, but did you know that if you're wearing sunglasses and you've been stung by a wasp, the animals can't tell you've been stung so you don't get the comments of like, ah, monster, or, you know, you should really put some medicine on that. I thought they did see through it. No, they don't. It's great. <laughs> is that just for this game or is that in the past? That's for this games? game. Just for this game. I mean, I don't remember. Because I don't past. remember. In the past, I they saw like through that, Maybe that's what I'm remembering. In, in City, City Folk. Folk yeah. Also, they could see through it. They, they could see have... through your web of lies. It's possible they've changed it during the game. It's possible it's been updated since. Because something that used to happen was if you got stung, you could just save your game and reload and you would not have a, you wouldn't be stung anymore. They have updated that. 
that. <laughs> so you're, Wait, I don't what? know how long ago you could save it. your game and reload. Like you could you close, could, like, close out the game. You could just say, "I'm done playing. I'm done for the day," and then reload it back up again, it, and you would be healed. Yeah. Oh. But now it remembers you. Now it remembers today. Like so, it's like it's not worth it. Don't even try. It doesn't work. Don't try trick it. Because yeah, I feel like in the early early parts of the game when I got stung all the time. I, I think I, I thought I tried the sunglasses trick because I was it like, okay, work. they can't see me. They won't they won't be rude. And I ve- I very much remember them acknowledging so, it. You should but try I think it again. They must have what if you it. wear a tut mask? Uh, that's a good point. Oh, yeah, like a mask versus a, th- yeah. I bet they can't see through that either. Interesting. But I haven't tried or it. Like I was a... just so excited they couldn't see through my Or, yeah, like the, the, the jester mask or something. Yeah, or the, the um, theater mask thingy. Or the, or the sugar the gold, skull mask. The goalie mask. Yeah. Any of the masks. The pa- the, a mask. The paint- a mask. The paintball mask. Paintball mask. Yeah, there's so many d- great masks you could wear. Does it block? Let's just need more masks, guys. <laughs> more masks. Hockey mask. We said that already. Oh, Matt Dillon. Guys, are we Matt Dillon done? mask. Do we have Matt Dillon mask? That would be great. That would be very creepy and great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be fun, Dream Sweet? You can make your own masks. Design you can make the mask. Mask. Hmm, mask the mask. The mask. <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be make your own mask. That'd be a great costume. I also want make your own socks. <laughs> a big, big, giant suit and a green mask. Yeah, with funny the yellow faces. suit. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, like the yellow jumpsuit would work for that for sure. That'd be great. Oh uh, yeah, and just I'm, a yellow hat. Yeah. I think I'm wearing the yellow jumpsuit today. Oh, adorable. Because you're not curtaining it up. You changed your outfit. <laughs> I do curt it up a lot, though. I, I mean, continue wearing the same outfit. I, I wore like the it. same outfit for months. I'm still, I, until recently, I was still wearing my birthday outfit. So, whoa, your birthday suit. Whoa, mm. Joelle. Joelle, <laughs> how do you do that? They, I thought they defaulted to having a little like undershirt and She's shorts. She's been using a lot of manscape lately. <laughs> <laughs> Just to show off. <laughs> Got a rocket. Really Sorry, wanted guys. to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a great tie-in. You're welcome. Oh, uh, it was perfect. <laughs> oh, guys. Thank you both for coming this evening. Thanks for uh, hanging you're out. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Listeners, thank you for joining us for this little adventure. We know we're, <laughs> we're looking forward to uh, hearing everything you have to say about the new game updates when oh. it's out. Can't wait. Yeah, have fun, everyone. Have fun. Yes, I'm have excited. Fun. Enjoy yourself. Don't stress out about it. Time don't don't rush through it. Yeah. Don't. Hey, Leash. Don't stress about it. Just But I have to stress about it because you guys are going to be talking about it and I'm not going to know what's going on and I oh, really need to be part of the family. I don't think oh. that's going to be the case. I don't, I'm don't. i really busy right now, <laughs> Leash, for, especially for the next like two weekends, if not three. Okay. Don't yeah. worry. Just chill out. <laughs> we don't have to talk about the new stuff next week. We We're not talk talking about, about it. Guys, <laughs> we're, sorry. We're, this podcast is not for news at all. Unless, nope. unless I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, like the, the stuff we'll, we will talk about, the stuff you already know is coming. Yeah, like, you're it's stuff right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> we, we'll, play. we might just say, "Hey, Leisha, I, I got to do the thing we talked. We yeah. saw that's coming." Okay. And then you could be like, "I got to do this thing we saw was coming." Yeah. That's, that's all we'll do. It'll be fun. We need to do a, a Twitch stream yeah. so that we can all play. Together. Yes, yeah, absolutely. We can, anytime. Just let me, yes, we guys. Can. Yeah, I'm. I'm ready. Ready to go. Let's okay. find a time. Let's do it. <laughs> free. Yeah. <laughs> in the near future with the holidays i know right oh yeah i get it i get it i get where you're going with this sorry but i want to yes okay the 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 idea is there the the plan is not Yeah, my heart is in the right place (laughs) that's true in my listeners we're gonna find a time we haven't planned it yet it's gonna it's gonna happen though yeah yeah Aww. Anyway, Sarah, you were trying to close out this episode. Well, I'm you know sorry. what? I didn't want to like make it force it. We're having a fun time here. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but it is it is a good time to say farewell for now. And thank you, Leash. You're welcome. Thank you, JB. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, listeners. Thank you, Rar. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rar. <laughs> and thank you, Jack Quaid Blank of Monkey Cat Studios for being our producer mm-hmm. and being awesome. Mm-hmm. He's and- not here right now. <laughs> He might hear this in the He's, future. He'll maybe. say you're rock em rar. <laughs> He's saying it in his head. Oh, thanks. See? What a, what a nice producer. He is. And a nice person. All right. <laughs> and with that, <gasps> Pocket Pie.